Maximizing our functional footprint is the name of our renovation game. This is how we transformed our side yard from an unintended pass-through to a functional extension of our home. We hired help to level out the rocky landscape and also to take out the overgrown noxious blackberry. We are mid-DIY on our garage renovation and needed storage quick, so we also hired out the build of a 14 by 14 basic shed. We then had a record-breaking year of rain and had to wait several months to start on the screen to hide the bins. I ordered pre-cut cedar slats and stained them to match our garage doors with one coat Aralac and burnt denver and two coats flood and redwood. We couldn't cement posts into the ground because of the French drain system. System. So Jeremy made a simple square frame out of 4x4 four four cedar posts and attached the frame directly to the shed for stability. We took advantage of this design to add cross posts for a roof to keep the bins dry. Before the roof, I nailed in the slats spaced one half inch apart. The post sat just a touch ahead of the house exterior, so we cut pieces to wrap around the side. Then Jeremy nailed in a double layer of overlapping cedar fence boards for the roof with a one inch overhang. And I stained the post while he painted the shed. And don't forget about this part of the side yard where we re-soiled and mulched in the fall all to get ready for spring planting this year. And while that may all take a few years to grow in, at least for now we can say bye-bye to the bins.